<laughs> Say sorry, man. You fucking bozos. You middle <laughs> fucking sorry. cockroaches. That's what two-way ability is, man. Say sorry. <laughs> oh, shit. Man. I'm not going to lie. I need, that, I need that dream on. Oh, my dog. That was a great win. Great win. <laughs> Since January 15th, the second best team in the NBA, man. Yo, Shadow. And how did they win? Well, we've been talking about this whole damn time. Defense. Come on, man. I need that Draymond block on Gafford injected into my veins, bro. When I saw that shit. <laughs> and oh then he came God, bro. bro. Then he came down and hit the layup after that, bro. Oh he my was God. Down. <laughs> I mean, in we, typical we, Warrior no. fashion, all they had to do was stop turning the Draymond ball. Draymond Masterclass. We yeah. had a we had a 21 point, 21 point and 11 assist game from Draymond against the Hornets. And then after he came and did this to the bro, I don't know. Man. All they had to do was stop turning the ball over like like the, what they did in the first half. And there you go. Because the defense was great all throughout the game. All they had to do was just stop copping the ball. Yeah, no, definitely. And our, our turnovers were just stupid shit, bro. Just throwing the ball down the court, bouncing off our foot and shit. But besides that, it was a fucking hey, good hold on. game. It was a good game. Hold on, hold on, hold on. By the way, Steph can't have bad games. Don't get it twisted. That was a gravity game. Get the fuck out of here. Steph cannot have bad games. It's sad. We're giving Clay Thompson an excuse to Steph now. Nah, man. No, no, no. My, Steph my, can't my have goal, bad games. Piss off. Has... Steph can't have bad games. Piss off. Steph <laughs> gravity game. Assists, bro. That's called a gravity game. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Talk to me nice. <laughs> Hottest team in the league comes in. Hand him the L. Hey. I'm, but you know what, though? I love that they're not calling these fouls. Steph shot how many free throws tonight? Steph was getting, like, zero. mauled at the rim, bro. I think, <laughs> zero? I, think he, I think he shot zero or he only shot. He went to, like, once. Bro, that was like American Gladiator, dog. Jesus Christ. Yo, bro, bro you see in that, like, first quarter where Steph goes up and then Gafford jumps on him, hits his hand, and he gets no call? That's just unbelievable, it's just insane. Bro. Shit like that happens, and the n- niggas will swear to God that that he has one of the best horses of the league. It's just like, it's in my, it's my bowels, bro. It's my bowels. I was like, oh, okay, well... Let let that be. You better be consistent on the other end of that exact same play or a similar play like that happens. Man. Exactly, bro. Yo, when my guy Kaminga coming back? There's next game. He should be coming back next game. Yeah, next game. I don't even know if next, next game. game. I think maybe the Dallas game on the road. Yeah. Mm, how do you, okay, 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 how, okay. how are we gonna implement him though? Like it's just I like that starting. Line. What do you mean how are we gonna implement I, him? I'm the same way he's we going have, to come off no, no, no. the bench. Yeah, as yeah. I, was gonna say, CP, I, bro. I love that starting lineup today. The starting lineup looked really good. Bro, you I got so scared when I didn't see Trace on the floor to close the lineup, but we held it down, bro. Because I'm like, why would you not have your rim protector out there with Draymond? But you know what? It worked. Cur- Curs, Curs, absolutely. Ins- Hold on, go, 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 go ahead. Let's, let's, let's list off. Let's list off, man. Yeah. Go so ahead. pods tonight, pods tonight. Five points, five assists, ten rebounds, plus seventeen. This, this, this was one of the best tonight. pods games, man. I swear. Yeah. yeah this he, was the he, Energizer Bunny, hustle yep. your ass off. He got in a little bit of foul trouble, didn't hold down his head for long, and came out there and hooped, bro. That was an amazing game. Kudos to Pods, man. And then, um, so Moody played well, bro. He had like twelve points. Played solid defense. He had four threes, uh, didn't he? Irk? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Away, was, I, was I watching Clippers Chris Paul out there? I couldn't tell. Bro, <laughs> that yo, was crazy. Chris Paul, bro. Chris Paul, bro. I was fighting for my life with Chris Paul. Hey, did you see how each time he was on the court, how they just regained the lead? Eh, it's mm-hmm. not a coincidence. 14, 14, five assists. Uh, Clay Thompson, uh, 14 points. Clay had an okay game tonight. Bro, he needs to work on that off balance shit. You know what I'm saying? There's too many off balance drops. Yeah, he just, he just right? go straight up. That drifting shit. But you nah, know what? God, he got to go twice. straight up, man. He rebounded, he, he rebounded well. There was points. He played Kyrie pretty well. I, I'm not yeah. going to exactly shit. He fucked up at the end there. He, there was. 
No need for him to take that layup. You get the basketball, you bring it out, you take three, four, five, six seconds off the clock, get fouled, and go to the free throw line. No, but um, to, I'll, like to speak on that CP point a little bit more, bro. I know the mid range is his is bread and butter, bro. But when he was hitting some of that shit, it was so nice to see, man. Dude, dude, like he, we would just have need like a last second bailout bucket. He just turn around and hit that shit, bro. And you I wouldn't have Steph to worry about it. On the bench when he hit that. hit it. That's why I asked the question: Was that Clippers Chris Paul out there tonight? Shit was crazy. <laughs> Anyways, continue, Urkel. Yeah, so, so Clay, Clay played a, a pretty good game tonight. But again, he got to stop drifting on those shots, man. I mean, coming off of those split actions, bro. I'm bro, telling you, he Urkel, would make there was, three more baskets. I remember there was three one more he, baskets if he stopped drifting. He he right? also so, took one where his body was like almost leaning back after yeah, he bro. shot the ball. That was not yeah, it. Yeah, I, I was. Steph, just, I was. Steph tonight, thirteen points. Seven rebounds, seven assists. Uh, Wiggins, let me tell you something, bro. Imagine if we had given fucking Andrew Wiggins to Dallas. Remember when they were calling for him? Did you see why you don't fucking trade the guy, bro? Two-way ability. You know what I'm saying? 23 points, and he played amazing defense. At every point, how you know a guy is a good defender? If they constantly try to get him off of the other guy, and that's what Dallas is doing. Bring the switch, bring the switch, bring the switch. That's what they were trying the whole time. They were trying to get Luca off of them, right? You need those type of guys on your team. Trace Jackson Davis, amazing tonight again. Draymond Green, I would probably say that Draymond Green was the best player tonight. Really on the court. Draymond? He was fucking amazing 100%, tonight, bro. 100%. Oh, he was amazing. On both ends. On both ends of the ball, he was amazing tonight. Absolutely amazing tonight. Um, that... Daniel Gafford will see Draymond in his sleep tonight, bro. Like he he absolutely terrorized him tonight, bro. I mean, absolutely this is the first time the Mass has seen Draymond because he missed the first two meetings. This is the first time they've seen Man. him. Hey, er, er, yeah. So, er, to your point, real quick, bro. Draymond, yeah. Draymond, and Wiggins made Kyrie and Lucas like they got their shots off tonight, but they made it hell for both of them, niggas, bro. They were on their ass the whole like Luca, bro. I never I seen Luca like. He got to his points, but bro, he was struggling. There was times that he didn't want to get his shot up. I was like, damn, these niggas are on them, bro. Bad. He tried every jab stuff. No, because what they did (laughs) well was forcing them to give it to the other people on the court. Because they had, we had, in the clutch, we had like three PJ threes that he bricked. Except for the last one we hit at the top of the key. We kept doing that to them. So even when they tried to switch off, in the old game that we played before them, which I love that they did, they would do the screen, and after we would switch. Instead of switching, we would just fight the screen and stay on them, and that caused them to have to keep Wiggins on them, have to keep Moody on them. It was a good game. I, I love the defense. Yeah. Dante, what you want to say? My boy, I was just in the middle of a tweet. Uh, cause you know, Steffi pissing me off. But nevertheless, man, that was a good-ass game. Um, I think Draymond was incredible. Like truly incredible, man. Like it was to the point that like you could see the momentum where they was like, Nick, we'll get this nigga the ball on the offensive end. Even at, I'm like, yo, this is crazy. Like, we about to close, but like they got Draymond out here being the head honcho and closing the game. But nah, man, his energy was great. Um there was one thing I, I that was really pissing me off was the fact that for some fucking reason this nigga Coach Kerr still does not I get it, man. Pods just can can go he's a hawk after the ball. Not, I don't want to hear y'all wait, say wait. anything about Pods tonight, bro. He was fucking I'm amazing. I'm not saying tonight, I'm not man. saying he was playing bad. What I am saying is I would love to see Trace and Draymond be on the floor closing games. That's what I'm saying. Oh, and Wiggins was out of his body, but that Nick, but his two way game when he when he plays like that, man, it, it's, it's love. And I always feel confident having Wiggins. So this morning on playback, right? I was saying that you know I prefer when we can just key in on a certain thing with certain teams. And Dallas is one of those teams where you can key in on a certain matchup. And right? that's what I was getting at. Like, I like when Wiggins is, like, when we go against the Celtics, the Mavs, like, certain star players, I feel yeah. confident knowing, look, man, we about to put Wiggins on their ass. And it's about to that's what I'm saying, bro. Like, like me personally, like, I think when you can just lock in Wiggins on somebody, right, and 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 all of the offense is coming through that player, 
they're going to get their buckets because Luca had what tonight? Well, Luca had an amazing. 30. He had like 30, 11, and 12, right? But I feel like you can take away certain things from the rest of the team when you just allow Luca just to get his own shit. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's 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 just one of those things that is just going to happen over and over and over again in the playoffs. And I love going against um, matchups like this because they're predictable. He, yeah, I know what's, what's, I, ball but I know what's going to happen, right? But you see, like, when we're going up against, like, the fucking Spurs and three-point shots are being coming off of, like, stupid overhelps and dudes ain't trying, that's the part that irritates me. So I love going against matchups like this, right? I knew we were going to win this game tonight because... You know, one, they need to win the game. That's the first thing. The second thing is that, you know, again, heliocentric ball. The Warriors are the best Ayo at Earth. defending that shit. Ay yeah. Ayo Earth, can I ask you a question? Yes, sir. Was Wiggins uh, guarding Luka 94 feet tonight? Damn near, bro. Let me ask you a question. Do you think it's difficult to guard somebody 94 feet and then um, give 20 points on the other end with a broken ribs? I think that... I think that when you're doing that, it's kind of like you're running like a 400 meter race over and over again. So um, essentially, you're, you're that, compromised. That's what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. But but I'm I'm not about to make excuses for anybody, right? Like no, no. I, uh, he's I guess, over that. I, I guess right? I'm pointing out that you can see his value on display now that he's healthier, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And 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 um, we've always seen his value, bro. Like we've won a championship. As much as y'all like to discount that championship, right? They won a championship with him doing exactly what he did tonight. You know what I'm saying? And this is a high-level playoff type of game tonight. And I'm telling you, point of attack, you're going to need that type of play. 23 points tonight, 3 of 5 from 3. Bro, if he gives you that, that's more than enough because he's going to give you defense on top of it. Now... Steph Curry didn't have a great shooting game tonight, but again, gravity game from Steph, a bunch of guys sprung open and did the thing. You know what I'm saying? So the only thing that I was like we're going. the only thing that was irritating me about Steph was all the ridiculous passes that he was throwing. Like he was throwing like fastballs and breaking balls all over the fucking basketball yeah, court. Yeah, like yeah, I yeah, get yeah, baseball yeah. season started, but come on, bro, chill. And that's the part where I'm like, um, that's the part of it where I'm like, he needs to relax with that shit, bro. Definitely needs to relax. Like, they, um, like especially when just, they have to lead, you don't need to rush anything. You have to lead, bro. So, Studio 44, this guy, he seems like a Luca fan. Studio 444, seems like a Luca fan. Yeah, I just wanted to go hurry up so I could go to bed. I was going to say I was wrong. Draymond. Oh, You're not coming to playback? No, I'm, I'm too tired. I can't stay up this late. I got to work in the morning. I just want to say I was wrong. Draymond stole the belt. It is what it is. <laughs> Hi, Tech. What's going on? What's up, Eric? I just want to say something real quick. I just feel like the uh, mm -hmm. Moody Moody could could get a little bit more shine than that. I felt like he was for me. My my, I got like a three way tie with the one spot. I got Moody Wiggins and CP3 as like the players of the game one A one B one C, and I got Draymond as number two. Um, Draymond was huge, but I don't feel like consistently throughout the whole game, it was as like, I feel like CP3 and Moody just kind of, CP3, Moody and Wiggins just kept us in the game. Like they just kept doing all the little things, all the big things. So like, that's just like me personally, I just think that uh, Moody could get a so, little bit more. Let me ask your opinion on this, right? Because I'm looking at the score right now, 100 to 104. Let me tell y'all this, bro. I... <laughs> I've been screaming all year long when I was watching the 130s and the 140s. And the, you know what I'm saying? And now we have a game where it's physical and you see guys like they're flying around and they're not just, bro, this is what basketball should be like, bro. It shouldn't be like no 135 nonsense, bro. That's not real basketball, right? This is what the shit should be like. So when we're in here and the score is 100 to 104, that's our game, bro. We can win this shit. You know what I'm saying? We get into a playoff series against a certain team, right? And this is what it looks like. More time out, we're going to win this shit. I'm telling you, defensively leaning, and you got to run like different actions and everything ain't downhill, downhill, downhill. This is our game. Because when I seen the fouls being caught, bro, we shot seven free throws tonight. What? Seven free throws? Dallas shot 11? 
How the fuck are the Lakers shooting 35 free throws, bro? Seriously? Math ain't math on that. Okay. All right. Enough of that. Dre, what's going on? What's up? What's up? B uh, big win, man. Big win. Big win, bro. Uh, big win. One that, you know, this felt like 22 when, like, Steph was struggling, you know, and he was going through that slump for a few months, like, and our defense was able to carry us through. And um, once again, uh, I think the game, the game ball goes to, I don't know if you guys discussed it, but I'm giving it to Wiggs because another masterful two-way performance. Uh, he was one of the only other, I mean, Trace was a plus three, but I mean, Wiggs was the only other starter who was a positive plus minus, but beyond that, 50% from the field, 60% from three, 23 points, four rebounds, and pretty much held Luka. It, I'm gonna, this is going to sound funny, but to a 30-point triple-double, but though, like, even though he had a 30-point triple-double, and he, he actually shot pretty well, he, was, he had five turnovers, and actually he scored below his average. So Wiggs did a great job, and plus... That 30-point triple-double was also not during... You know, he was doing some damage while Wiggs was out of the game as well. They didn't really mirror his minutes. Let me say this, Dre. Thanks. When you look at the box score, right, and you see Kyrie 27 and Luka 30, right? P.J. Washington had Bro, 20. Bro, okay, Ursula, let me put Gafford it this way. Let me, let me put it this way. Clay and, yeah. Clay and Steph combined for 27, and Kyrie scored 27 by himself. And yet they won the game. How about and that? they won. And they won. Their because bench of their absolutely defense. destroyed the match. Because, hold also. on, because, because two-way Wiggs and two-way play throughout. Draymond played two ways. Wiggins played two ways. So I would even say, even though Steph struggled offensively, nobody up here could deny Steph's defense was great tonight. It was very good. Right? He was handsy. He was active. He, he had how many steals? He had a steal, two blocks. Steph had two blocks and a steal. Draymond was great. I thought off the bench. No, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna guess nobody brought up Chris Paul yet. I well, we brought up. <laughs> no, I'm talking about Chris Paul earlier. Put Chris, Chris Paul out there. Hey, hey, who led the team in plus minus tonight? It was Pods with plus seventeen, but Chris Paul was right behind him at plus eight. And and mind you, fourteen points, five assists off the bench in nineteen minutes. Six of eleven from the field. Two for three from three point land. Zero turnovers. <laughs> And his defense was very solid, too. I know there were some times, you know, he was out there a little bit small, whatever, cool. But, like, for the most part, he was in the right spots. He was doing the right things. He was active. Chris Paul tonight was the – I would say the two dudes who were really – who really kept this game in check were Wiggins and CP. Because Steph was struggling Moody. throughout, and we needed – and Moody, and Moody. Yeah, Moody as well. Moody was amazing. He had 12-3, and three, uh, four for eight from the field, hit four threes, zero turnovers, plus three, like – Moody's been amazing. And to have a dude like Moody off the bench <clears throat> when Clay is struggling, you know, Clay's not going to have it every night. We know this. But when you can have a guy like Moses Moody off the bench who can compensate for those struggles, not only offensively, but also provide value defensively. And he was active. You remember that one play on Kyrie where he, he kind of bumped the ball out of his hands and created a, a loose ball? Now, they called a foul on the play. But the fact that, like, that's the activity we need if we're going to win anything. If we're going to go far, we need those types of plays. We need that activity. We need that hustle. And we had it, man. And the two-way play. Now, GP2 tonight was not great. And, again, that's the beauty of having a guy like Moody who can give you that, you know, that two-way play off the bench when he's, you know, consistent. Obviously, he's getting more consistent minutes the last few weeks. So GP tonight was kind of getting cooked off the ball. And Kyrie just was had whatever he wanted. Now I thought, yeah, there was one play. Yeah. There was one play where GP two completely lost Gafford, and I was he like, he lost bro, Gafford, and he also lost that's Kyrie. That's the type of door. stuff that you can't do. But I will still say, yeah, bro, like, I, like, I, like, I will say that GP did have um, a, a big play in the fourth where he had like a cut to the rim, had a layup. Yeah. So he's still doing some things out there. I don't want to make it sound like he was bad or anything, but defensively, he was definitely not up to par. It, it was not good. So. He was just a little bit over yeah, aggressive yeah, yeah. tonight. He was better that, like, 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 like on a few over plays. Especially off the ball. Like his yeah. denial was too much. And I will say Trace tonight was, was okay. I didn't think this was your normal Trace game. He did have 10 rebounds though. Um, but he also had three turnovers. I think you kind of saw the limitations of Trace tonight a little bit and why we go with Draymond at the five uh, as our most optimal option. Because, 
you know, Dre at the five, he, he you saw what he did to Gafford, right? Like now Gafford was That's actually one play. he had a pretty solid game. Well, no, 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 it's one play, Jim. But it was, but it was the biggest, it was arguably big, it was, the biggest play of the game. I'm not, but, condone, I'm not condoning this bullshit, bro. They, they closed the game know, with Clay Thompson. It's <laughs> fucking bullshit. All right, I'm really happy well, about this well, win. I'm really happy with the defense that they played. They are playing my type of well, fucking basketball. Y'all talk, complaining about the offense. I'll take the hundred four to one hundred fucking win all day. All right, absolutely. Play some Jim. fucking defense. <laughs> get a bunch of fucking stops together. Play defense for all forty eight minutes. I thought Steve was good for a large chunk of this game, and then there were other chunks where he's just fucking making insane decisions. Like you're totally gambling with Clay there. What the fuck? Why are you closing with Clay, bro? I what wanted Clay you, in the starting lineup. lineup. What was the lineup you you preferred? I, I don't want to see Clay in there in the closing lineup. No, no, no. I know, I know, I know. What I'm saying is, what? So okay, shit was eight or five guys great. on the floor. It's great. It shit was Steph Curry, it. Potts, and Clay. That was the closing lineup. Three okay. guard lineup. What should it have been? So Steph, Dre, take Clay Ray, out and put else? Trey in. Pretty simple. You, if you notice, Gafford got some easy buckets on the stretch, didn't he? Right. Well, we got easy buckets down the stretch the because way. Draymond couldn't get him Steph, at that point. Dre, Wiggs. Steph, Dre, Wiggs. Who are the other two? You wanted Moody? Did you want pa- um, Did you want GP2? Did you want who? Dre? Well, Pogs was having want? an amazing game, so I didn't mind him being out there. But Draymond needs help. Okay. So Trace needs to be out okay. there. And he did, he wasn't out there. And Clay was out there. God knows why. Was Clay having a great game tonight or something? I'm confused. Like, I'm watching him out there, and he's just... Bro, like, I... I and, and bear in mind, I wanted this guy in the starting lineup moving forward, right? Because I felt like he, you know, he's been playing well and he's been uh, under control. And you know, what I'm saying he fixed up a lot of ways and all this stuff. But defensively, and just from an overall standpoint, first of all, I wanted part of the reason why I wanted him in there is because of that two man game with Trace. They're not even running it. They're not running that in the starting lineup. So should have been number one. You. Number two. Now I'm leaning towards like. Moody. Moody's a much better defender than Clay Thompson at this point. Like, it's not even close. So, if if Clay has been playing well off the bench, and we wanted to try him in the starting lineup to see how it goes, but if he's not coming, if if this is how he's going to play, uh, maybe it's better off that he's coming off the bench. Maybe Moody needs to be in the starting lineup, because his defense is definitively better. He's hitting his threes. I, I just want the defense to be as most powerful as it can be. I don't want to see a three-guard lineup to close this fucking game, bro. You you are taking a gamble. Steve gambled this game and they, they got away with it. Don't make don't don't allow this to fool you into thinking that that three guard lineup is a viable closing lineup. It's not. I feel like Moody is well, like um, listen, I did you think Trace was like deserving to close tonight, or did you think yeah, Moody I thought Moody him. was. I agree. They need so his Moody, defense I, and rebounding. I think Moody would would have been a good uh option. I think Dre at the five, though, Jim, you, you also got to account for the fact that he had that quickness over a guy like Gafford. Where I appreciate that. Downstream. I appreciate that play. It, it is a play of the game. No, no question about it. It is an incredible play. Not only did no, he no, block not, the not shot. The not, I'm not about the layup. I'm about the layup. The layup? Had, no, not just the, yeah, the block. Yeah, he, he then, had a layup when Steph set a screen for him, and he had a high weight to the rim. Oh, yeah, a, yeah. Like, I mean, sure. Right he, I mean, he can do that with Trace in there, too. I don't. I don't see why he can't do that. Well, well, I don't, I don't understand about that because it's a Steph, it's a Steph Curry inverted screen. It shit happens all the time. So he had a free, yeah, he but, had a free uh, path to the uh, to the rim, and he got there fine. But listen, man, right, they won this game with defense. Okay. Their best defensive formations mm-hmm. is with Draymond and and Trace on the floor at the same time. Like they need, they cannot get away from this. Like and thinking that Clay Thompson somehow a three guard fucking lineup is the way to go. Like, he needs to cut this out, man. There's an easier path to winning this game than how they want it. But, but I don't want to turn it too negative. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm stoked, man. I'm stoked. Five game winning streak. All defense. They're winning games with defense. This is, I've been and begging for this the seven, whole season. And we're starting to see more seven, stretches of it. Let me tell you Jim. Seven games you over. See when we get to the playoffs, bro, you see all that first half of the year nonsense. It's just going to look so different. I know exactly what's going to happen. I know exactly what's going to happen, and I can't wait. I, I literally can't wait. So we're right now seven games above 500, and we're still in 10th. Woo! We are in for a hell of a... We're in for a hell of a... Urkel, Dre. We're in for a hell of a... They ending. are seven yeah. games above five fucking hundred, bro. I'm fucking happy. I'm excited. Do you think the Lakers slip, though? Do y'all think... Fuck the no, Lakers. The we just need the Warriors to play good basketball. 
there's one way that happens, and that is April 9th, which is a week from today. We have to we, if we beat them, then we will probably pass them in the standings. But that's the only scenario I could think of. They'll beat them because too. They, their schedules their schedule's pretty easy if you look at it. So mm-hmm. we got to beat them. Um, but listen, this was a huge win. By the way, we could all agree this was probably one of our toughest remaining games on the schedule. So we play the Mavs and the Lakers once more each, and then we do play the Rockets. Um, so those are like probably the, on paper the three toughest remaining games. And I I feel like look this was the tougher was of the two though win. because it's at home and we suck at home. So <laughs> yeah, all I the mean, games would be tough. You, right? All the games would be tough. Hey. This minute stuff is driving me crazy, right? So Wiggins crazy, played. Bro. Hey, Wiggins was the high minute man tonight. Thirty three minutes. Steph thirty two. It is. It is. It is kind of phenomenal that they're doing this, and Steph is playing thirty two minutes, bro. Thirty three from Wiggs. Draymond had thirty one. Trace twenty one. Like ah, this shit is. Uh, and Luca, it Luca, could be, nervous, could be right? better. <laughs> they could. Be it could better, be. But, it could be better, man. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. There Wiggins were stretches. There were stretches. Sure. Draymond and Wiggins had no business sitting down like that. that yeah. Long. Yeah, yeah, man. Steve, so sometimes he rides the hot hot it, hand for a little bit too long. Nervous, bro. <laughs> and um, but man, everybody for the most part, like uh, man, everybody contributed in some way. You know what I'm saying? Like Wiggins, Wiggins. Yeah. But we got everything. I, I was tonight. Just, we got everything right from a from a defensive standpoint, right? I think close, we got everything. Close. Yeah, close. Um, Vir- virtually, yeah. I mean, because. I will say that I mean, who would you say would stood out the worst in terms of like the defensive end? I mean, I would probably say Clay. I mean, G- it was Clay. I thought GP was was underwhelming. Um, Clay. Clay, Clay probably followed by GP. Clay, yeah, okay. Clay saying, is fucking. He made like one good play. Other than that, this shit is pedestrian. Right. All right, and right, then right, offensively, right. Yeah, what the floating. fuck are you doing, dude? But you know what? You know what? You know what? Well, well, the one thing you make a <laughs> good point. I will say. One of the concerning things that I noticed is, is, and I'm kind of piecing this together now, is like when Wiggins is aggressive, it's like Clay almost like sort of, sort of kind of floats, and when Clay's aggressive, Wiggins like sort of floats. Yeah, so we, I think we're still figuring funny. out the like that balance between like finding both like their shots. But when Wiggins, they're is almost there, Dre, because I noticed the same thing. They're almost there. Yeah, they're no, no, almost no. there. Yeah, yeah. Once... They're almost there. hundred percent. I agree. I yeah. Agree. Once they figure out the balance, because I think in the playoffs two yeah. years ago. They had a really, really good balance, yep, and yep. everyone was flying around playing defense and all of that stuff. So but you they're agree, almost though. there. Like Clay's kind of But I like... will say this, bro. Right. Clay, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a physiological thing, but bro, it, it drives me crazy when I'm watching him come off those split actions and he's just sailing across. Bro, like yeah. he's JJ why is he just like that? Thank Red God they didn't call that travel, by the way. I think, the end of I the think game. part of it's like it's like he's kind of creating extra space, right? Like when you fade away, you're fading away from something. You're fading away from the defender. So like he's trying to get a little extra separation with those shots. I think well, he's making so, it bro, so much tougher when, anyways. When he does bro, that. Yeah, bro. So, so I feel like when he's coming off of that screen, right? Yeah. I don't feel like that's something to create space. I, bro, it's like just look at his you legs. Think, you bro. think he's trying to land like in a certain way? Is that what you're saying? Bro, Dre, right. like, look, look, look at, look at every shot he like, takes uh, and look at how he lands. If he lands really awkwardly, you can for sure count that as a fucking brick. If he lands with two feet down with nothing wrong, that shit is in. That shit is cash. 100%. Yeah, 100%. but also you have to have Clay's enough separation. Clay's base and core yeah. isn't as strong as it used to be. That's why he's drifting so much. I agree with that. I do agree That's with that. Why. And he contributed. Yeah, I don't want to take away the fact that he did contribute. It's just, no, 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 it's just no, no. in the starting lineup. I, I just seen some, I've seen a lot of issues there that that frustrated me. He had an okay game tonight. Um, well, well, listen, he had an okay game we... tonight. But yeah, let me tell y'all this, bro. We wanted to ship Chris Paul off, Not bro. Me. Hey, they made runs. You know, like at the end of that first quarter, I looked up and they had the lead, and I was like, "How the hell did they have the lead?" They had the lead, and then. Uh, you know, towards the end of that third quarter, again, Chris Paul out there running the offense, and it, 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 it bro, the, the shit's kind of working. Also, he made, a, he also he made an adjustment. He comes back because he's probably gonna come off the bench. How do we think he's gonna respond to that? How Say do we think now? JK is gonna respond to coming off the bench? Do we? Do uh, we know for a question. fact he will? Or I mean, he needs to. Know. He needs to. Yeah. I don't, they just they're on a five game well, winning streak without him. They, they, they started and they hadn't won two games in a row all month long. 
I wouldn't be surprised if Steve started. You, you guys are trusting Kerr to make that good decision? Come on, y'all. You know no. he ain't going to do that. If Steve started him. I know what Kerr it's wants tough. to do. It's tough. Trace and, and uh, Draymond, it's tough, man. Because the second unit needs another score. So. Yeah, so it's just a perfect situation if you ask me. Like, and we, but we need Trace in the starting lineup. So. Thank God, enough scoring. Enough talking about they need scores and they need points and all. That. They need defense, more consistent defense, and they're gonna get that with Trace in the starting lineup over Kaminga. It is what it is. I love the I love Wiggins's defense tonight, bro. Like, I and you know one of the things that frustrated me was like they they were too eager to and willing to switch. And he really fought a lot to make sure that he stays in front of Luca and the uh, you know the players hedge wherever they can so that uh, Wiggins can recover on him. And uh, you know that's you need to you you just can't switch all day against Luca. And Luca did not have this his way. This is like one of those Warriors. games, Jim, where where Luca shot the ball well and he got his stuff or whatever, bro. But Wiggins did an amazing job against him, right? So you have certain guys that they have the ball in their hands a lot. And they're just gonna get buckets, you know what I'm saying? Like no matter what, right? And he's just one of that those guys that plays like a certain way, and they play a certain style, and he's just always gonna get buckets, right? And I just thought I was just watching Wiggins the whole time, and I saw Dallas, and they're just taking time off of the clock, right? And I just know what's gonna happen from playoff time. I know what's gonna happen with the pre switching and. When the um, rotations get tighter and all of that stuff, so the whole night I was just visualizing all of that just happening um, in the playoffs, Luka. and you know, Luca hit some tough shots too tonight. Like he hit like two step back threes, where I was like, "Bro, how the hell did he make that?" Yeah, you know? most of his, his, his face and all of that. He got most of his points on GP too. I want to say most, but yeah, he he definitely had an easier time against GP two than he did against Wiggins. Size matters in this yeah. situation against Don, uh, Luca, and uh, we've already seen this movie. W- Wiggins is able to contain Luca, you know, to various uh, ex- to a various extent uh, when he's guarding a one on one. So uh, I love this is why Wiggins is such a vital piece for this team. Without him, they don't have a starting POA. Without a starting POA, you're done. There's no defense to be had without him. Like they, even if it's Draymond and Trace, it's still that's still not gonna get it done. You need that powerful PA, POA next to him, and Wiggins is coming through in a big way. He's finally getting more touches. He's finally featured again, and he he got his role back that he's had the last last few years. And man, I'm happy for him. I'm happy. This has been a struggling year. But people wanted him gone. Um, you know what I'm saying? And like they're looking for a new new era. That get the fuck get, get the fuck out of here. You need Wiggins. Yeah, the dude was struggling. Well, like, you can't, you can't, you can't, you cannot ignore that. He was. We know that. We know he's been struggling. Day. We know he's been struggling. But after the rib injury, they they were doing. Steve Kerr was doing wrong by him. He put bring him off the bench and he's playing playing him at the four. Get out of here. Keep him at the three and give him his starters minutes. And he's getting touches now. You're getting two way play from him. It's, it's a combination of three things, right? More minutes, more touches. And more aggression on his part. Like, had, did you notice tonight? He was literally hunting Luca. Yep. And 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 sometimes you know he whatever. Like there were times he missed some shots, but like he was aggressive. And there were times where he was drawing fouls. There were times where he was knocking shots down. Like, but he's just, also getting even rebounds the other too, and that's huge because he's one of the people that. But isn't that what they know? did two years ago? I'm um, in the playoffs though. Like they gave him the ball, and he he was just going at Luca. Because, right. you know, when we think about, like you know, you what Luca him. did. No, no, no. I'm not even talking about the dunk. But what I saw, you know, because we were watching every game in the playoffs that year. And, you know, to go from um, Mikhail Bridges, where Mikhail Bridges is playing hot potato with the ball versus, you know, um versus having Andrew Wiggins go at his neck on offense. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was just something that Luka wasn't used to, and I think it took something off of his fastball in the next round. Because he, like, there's certain guys where Luka was just resting on, and then, you know, Booker was just getting double-teamed, CP was getting double-teamed in that Suns, I mean, that Sun series, and then the Warriors kind of just gave the ball to Wiggins, and he was just attacking him, you know? So I saw a little bit of that tonight, and you know, also, there's certain matchups that I like to play. 
it was Wiggins, but it was also – it felt like it was the game plan across the board. Like, whoever like yeah. whoever Luka was guarding, like, that player kind of went at him. I saw Moody do it as well. Wiggins, I saw, like, whoever Luka – like, even GP at times, like, just cutting to the rim. Like, whoever Luka's man was, that, that mm-hmm. dude was given the ball or was tasked to kind of expose his, his uh, defense. And the Mavs have actually been playing pretty good defense the last few weeks. So, they're, I mean, they, they've been, like – I think they're, like, top ten – I think they're like the last six. fifteen. I think they're six. Guys, you know, there's a there's a reason they really needed to take this game. They play them, you know, they need they were gonna play them two times. Tonight was one of them. They absolutely needed to win this one because Derek Lively was missing this game, and that missing off their bench is huge. You you saw what Klebo, who was his replacement, was doing tonight, uh, in terms of like scoring, like you know what I'm saying, like he's all for four from the floor, and these are the games that you got to take advantage of when the other team is missing somebody like that. It's a huge difference between Derek Lively and, and Kleba, right? So, this is the one they had to win this game, man. Uh, what a relief! Who wanted to say something earlier? Hold on, let me. Get Matt it. has his hand up. Matt, yeah, Matt. Oh, Matt, Matt. I'm sorry, bro. Hey, no worries. No, no, no worries. I, I learn a lot listening to y'all. So, um. So, uh, you know, as a Mavs fan, um, it, you know, I'm not like crushed because we just finished the road trip going four and one. So including two wins in, in Sacramento. So um, and by the way, I think some some of the, the Warriors coaches must have watched what the Mavs. By the way, you're welcome. The way we dismantled the Rockets two nights ago. So you're welcome. Oh, appreciate that. <laughs> so you're welcome. They were talking mad shit the other night. You know what I'm saying? On their ass and all of this shit. You know, so appreciate You're welcome. That. And, I mean, the way I see it is, I mean, the only stat that matters in this game is bench points. 39 to 13. Y'all outscored us 39 to 13 coming off the bench. And, yeah, and someone just mentioned Derek Lively. I think that. I think that matters from the only the simple standpoint is when Lively and Gafford are on the floor together. I mean, it, it creates confusion for defenses because you don't know which one Luke is going to throw it up to and, and dunk it. I mean, since we got PJ Washington and Daniel Gafford, it's been kind of lob city in Dallas. There was one game, I think it was against the Jazz. We had 18 dunks on the Jazz one game. So not having Lively out there made a difference. Um, Someone mentioned the the, the officiating. Uh, there's no doubt they were <laughs> they were they were letting a lot of stuff go. Uh, although I was a little I, I, don't, I don't know what y'all think, but I was interested early on when I was watching. Um, they were calling traveling quite a bit in this game, including on uh, Steph Curry. So I don't know what that says, but um, overall, I think you could definitely tell the um, you know y'all were hungry for this win and you know i think desperation causes teams to kind of rise to the challenge uh i'm with you space gang i wish we had more 104 100 games Uh, i get you know i get tired of winning 135 to 120 i just (laughs) it's it's not um it's not it's it's, it's entertaining it's but it's bullshit yeah i mean i i know that's what the league wants and but i just i I, not I even just, entertaining. That shit is annoying to watch. I can just see people like Dennis Rodman trying to watch a game and saying, "Man, that wasn't a flagrant back when I was playing." But anyway, <laughs> yeah, it's. A- <laughs> but anyway, uh, just wanted to say congratulations. Um, you know, I'm one of those fans who's willing to come on and and defend my team even when we lose. So um, uh, I feel I feel good where the Mavs are. We're still in fifth, we're still in five right now. So we'll just kind of see where things shake out. And I guess uh, I'll come back on when we – I think it's Sunday. I can't remember when, when y'all are in Dallas but, uh, this week, but I'll Not come back Sunday. on you. Yeah, it's Sunday, I believe. Sunday, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. So I'll, I'll come back on and uh, win, win, lose, doesn't matter. I'll come back on and give you my thoughts. So I'll, I'll All right, keep... appreciate you. You know what? Hold yeah, on, yeah. hold on, hold on. It's not Sunday. It's not it's Sunday. Friday? We played him Thursday. And then we have a back to back, so we have them on a back to back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Strange right. Enough. They play on Friday, not Sunday. Sunday is Utah. Oh, excuse me. You're oh, right. Okay. Sunday's okay. You're Utah. right. You're right. I Sunday gotta... is Utah. Yeah, yeah. You're yeah. right. I forgot. We... I forgot we had the back to back. I was like, it's weird because we play Houston, 
and it it would only make sense that they stay in Texas. So I should have known. Yeah, and we and for the Mavs, we have a what I'm calling a trap game on the day before that against the Hawks. So <laughs> hopefully we don't look too far ahead. But um, yeah, I love listening to y'all. I, I learn a lot. So uh, keep doing what you're doing. You're a great Mavs fan. We appreciate you. Thorough. Appreciate yeah, y'all man. too. They always been thorough. So uh, there's a stat that I just saw. TJD and Draymond has a defensive rating of 104. TJD, Wiggins, and Dre have a defensive net rating of, or defensive, yeah, defensive rating of 97.7. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I don't need to say anymore. You got to lean defense. You don't. That's crazy. That's it, man. That's it. And also, I just want to say, the Rockets have been on the Warriors' tail. They made a hell of a run. It's just done. They lost tonight. The Warriors are up by three games. Should be a wrap at this point. So, if we beat them, um, what Thursday? For sure, we gotta, we for sure, take, we'll take care of business. I think it's over yeah. regardless. It's a wrap. So if we beat them Thursday, it's over. It's literally done. Yeah, yeah. There's that, and the Warriors are back to 500 at home. <laughs> Fine. Man of the hour. Warriors coming out to play. Uh, yo, That's Alexander, what what's up? Man? Yeah, no, nah, what up, man? Uh, Matt, <laughs> Matt actually beat beat me to my point about the bench um space you had brought up chris paul that's what i actually wanted to you know kind of weigh in on because um w- when steph curry went to the bench we was a plus 14 so i think that was that was a pretty big deal yeah a hundred percent yeah this was another situation with the bench just belling us out the bench just stepped up you know when our starters you know just wasn't really uh, getting shit going, so I just got to tip my hat off to the bench. Right. They, were, they were playing better defensive lineups. Steve made made some adjustments. That that four guard lineup, it's like Moody, GP two, Pod, CP. Right? What did I say? I don't want uh, I don't want Clay next to CP and Pods, and he was not next to them in those lineups. So it was Moody and, and GP two, and it was better defense. And Looney held up, especially in the second half. He did a really good job. So and Luca too, well. like he did. He, did good yeah, he, was hustling. He, was, he was definitely hustling. What a win, guys, man. I don't I don't want to take take nothing away from what 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 we've been doing, but we really gotta savor this moment. How we turned around this season, man. Because November and December, we were absolutely dreadful since January January 15th, since Draymond came back. I believe the our road record is 15 and 5. Fucking phenomenal. We we're, we're we're um, now five and zero, um, so it's another five and zero stretch. We have an opportunity to take it to six games against Houston. I don't think they're going to take their their foot off the gas because whether Houston's close or not, um, none of them appreciated what um, Eason was saying. The Warriors and, and none of that, so they're taking that game serious. And obviously, um, they're going to spin the block on on the Mavs, but brothers and sisters down 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 in the the audience we are the 10th seed right now and we may get to the eighth we may get to the seventh but whatever the case is i am not afraid of nobody with these guys leaning defense trace playing substantial minutes um i think i think clay is gonna is gonna figure out something i'm not saying clay is playing perfect but I do like Clay in the starting starting lineup, and I like Pods hung, hungry off the bench. I, I don't see a reason why Pods needs to start. Now we got to figure out some some things with some Kaminga. I believe in the playoff. I don't care about the regular season, but in the playoffs, I believe it's going to be matchup dependent, depending on who we play, whether it's Minnesota, Denver, or OKC. I think um, Trace may have uh, one or two games in a series where he does come off the bench. But other than that, I, I need to see Trace, um, Wiggins, and Draymond as our front court, and then obviously Steph, Steph and Clay as our back court. I don't. I, I think Steph. I think Steph should stay on more in the first, and I think Clay should be the first one to go to the bench and bring in either M- Moody, Moody or Pods. I think um, at this point, I don't know how you leave M- uh, Moody out the rotation. There's no more of that. 
So whether we have to go to a 10 man rotation, it is what it is, bro. I know no, no. how Hold you on. have to leave pods out. out. I, I I mean, not Moody out. I, I don't see how, how you do that. Moody might Shout just out. GP's minutes. Shout out. It's a, it's a problem. Are you kidding me? You can't. GP needs to be in the rotation. He's a major part of their defense. Um, Listen, they're, they're playing a 10 man rotation tonight. They played a 10 man rotation tonight with Kaminga coming back. Who's echoing like crazy? Right now? Hello? Okay. You're good. Bro. All right. Go ahead. So they played a 10 man rotation, including Looney. All right. Looney played 10 minutes and a bunch of guys played, uh, you know, uh, GP was a little lower. He was at 16 minutes. CP 20, Moody 20, Pods 31. So Kaminga comes back. They're either going to have to run an 11-man rotation or probably Moody's going to end up ha having to go back to the bench. This is – see, this is frustrating. So I'll, I'm just going to say this. Either way, uh, Kaminga's missed some time. they probably bring him off the bench, even if we're not sure if Steve's going to make that change permanently or not. At least for the the first game he comes back, he's probably coming off the bench, right? We need Kaminga. You you gotta fall in line with the defense that these guys are playing. You need to be intense out there. Right, you need to be focused. Focus on your defense before you focus on your offense. I can't see the defense break because you're doing something you, that that you shouldn't be doing, or that you're not paying attention where you need to, not being attentive, not getting the loose ball, not getting the rebound. Like I can't see this stuff. I can't do it. We can't do it. The Warriors are winning games with defense. Kaminga, you got to fall in line and, and follow the team's path when it comes to it. Because Moody's playing amazingly. He's playing amazingly. Amazing defense. He's, he's hitting his, th his threes. I, I'm, I'm thinking, like, I want Moody in the starting lineup over uh, Clay Thompson, the way Clay looked in the starting lineup. That's how I feel about Moody right now. So the, the idea that Kaminga is going to come back and then Moody has to suddenly not play any minutes again, it, it, it just well, is very frustrating. Hello. Everybody on the uh, on a on the panel, can we just be happy tonight that we stopped a team that won seven straight games and had the best defense within that span? Oh, we're happy with Steph playing like we've all stated how happy we are. That's how you fucking do it right there. Jeff, I, 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 are you happy? Your voice doesn't sound it, man. Oh, I'm fucking feeling great. I mean, the, when your best player plays like shit and you still, you talking about me, Lee? Yeah, Jim. Lee. We got to understand something about me. There's good things that happen in a basketball game, and there are bad things that happen in a basketball game. I, I address everything. Yes, sir. Bro. So long, long term, like it's like, yeah, I'm going to be happy about the things that I'm going to be happy about, but the problematic things that still exist that I know is going to continue to present problems if, if it goes that way, especially going into the playoffs, yeah. right? That's no good. So I, I think it's important that we, we be able to address everything. You know what I mean? So yeah. we went. We we talked about all the good things and the good vibes and amazing five game winning streak. Finally playing defense. This is my type of basketball. I love it. At the same time, like there's complications. You know, there's complications, right? You know, when Kaminga comes back, they're gonna have either an eleven man rotation or somebody's gonna have to sit. And if somebody has to sit, you know exactly who's gonna have to sit. You know course. what I'm saying? Yeah, of course. But I'm just saying, like, and I'm not telling you what to do. I'm not telling anybody what to do. But tonight. I'm like just very happy that we got the win. Tomorrow I'll probably have the same. Thoughts. That was a huge win, to be you know honest. I mean? That was a huge win. Tomorrow I'll say my opinions as far as like the adjustments that could be made. But tonight I just want to celebrate the win. <laughs> we got bailed out. Let's let's not act like you know we almost blew this game. That was dangerous, man. Steve took a risk. I, I hated that risk. Yeah, because we're, if we're being all the way honest, if we're being but, all the way honest. Had the ref called that travel on Clay, Jim would have fucking went bro, ape shit do, on Clay. Do, do we yeah, went, oh my we God, win this, bro. Win and he got blocked at the rim, Jim. Like, oh my yeah, God. Yeah, like, bro. Yeah. Do, we, do we win this game in December, though? Zero chance. Do we play? No, I mean, we, if no, they play no, the no, right no, fucking no, lineups, yeah, Lee. Yeah. If they play the right fucking lineups, yeah. Bro, bro, they could have done this the whole season. <laughs> In in yeah. in no, December hold on, hold it was on. a joke, brother. It was a joke. We beat the, the lineup, Celtics. yes, Jim. Line, Jim, the lineup, sure. Also, none of these dudes like Clay Wiggins, even Loon, like none of these dudes were playing as well as they are now. Yeah. And I'm gonna be honest with you. You can say that's a you lineup see, thing, but they're also they're playing well on I both ends. Both ends. I don't think it's a lineups thing or anything like that, bro. 
You see how physical they were able to be on yes, defense? Yes, and you've made this point for years now, which I agree with, actually, which is that when you allow physicality and you allow defense to be played the way it has the last you know month or so, or a few weeks, three weeks, this, this, this basketball like. actually favors the Warriors. I, I don't think 100% anybody it does. can play it that yes. as well as we can. I This favors us. Like So you sometimes know, when Steph doesn't get that. the calls, it, it's it's frustrating, yeah. but as long as they're calling but we it both ways it, like that, I Because it comes with that, exactly. Because when Yeah, because what happened, bro? Like It comes with the territory because those the other team won't get the same calls that they depend on. We don't depend I will on those teams. Until you, we play the Lakers. Yeah. I will give you a perfect example of what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. Here's what I'm talking about, like real time. Steph goes down the court and he gets fouled, but like like he gets raked over the arm. You know what I'm saying? Right. They get the ball and they go back down. And I think it was Gafford or so, one of those dudes that that Steph just absolutely swiped down on. If that was say four months ago, that's a foul on Steph every fucking time, bro. Even though he got a clean swipe on the ball. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you're so, right. You're right. Yeah. Uh, well, so a hundred percent, bro. Like, like, I, like I was watching it, and I was like, Steph just got fouled, and it was a cl- bro. He, he got raked over the arm. You know what I'm saying? And then um, mm-hmm. he comes down the other end, and when he um, when he had, I think it was Gafford that was switched on to him or somebody like that. And when I seen him come down, I was like, "There's no way the refs are gonna call this foul. Absolutely no way." Steph gets the strip. Goes back down and he gets a bucket. You know what I'm saying? So, I love this type of game, bro. This shit favors us. And I'm telling you, if this is the if this is how they're going to play the games, we are going to see upset left and right and center come playoff time. You see, like how we're like clowning the Lakers and the Warriors and all of this shit, bro. I don't want to be any of these teams at the top. And then. You somehow run into the um, Lakers and the Warriors because I know what's going to happen. All of the shit where p- people are like, "Oh, this guy, that guy." Watch when the playoff comes, bro. Different ball game. You know what was really exciting? Your rates are down. Yes, Jim. The, like that first quarter, it, it was a shit show. Like their offense, they need to work yeah. on that fucking offense. Like, they need, bro, like the starting lineup offense, like they, the, it needs work. Like they need to get some like. Player, Steph right? could do a better job of of like taking care of the ball, but bro. Eric, all of them do. Draymond has Eric, not been taking care of the ball. Either. Eric, fucking Eric, ridiculous, don't bro. you like, think that's a combination of the minutes being played with Steph and the fact that they're focused on defense? This is the same thing that happened in 2022 when we were complaining about Steph not scoring enough. Yeah, he wasn't getting the minutes and he was playing defense. If it's leading the wins and it's going to give me the same result as 2022 in the finals, I'll take it. I don't. I don't. I never look at Steph and I'm like, oh my God, you should put up XYZ stats because I watch the game from a but different it's, lens, but right? Jim, so Jim, you guys are Steph right. sets oh, a screen, it's right? right Steph sets a screen, easy Draymond get a layup. Yeah. Like, he's he's not going to get a stat for that, right? Yeah. So, they need to, they need. And you're never going to leave his body. So so that's how I watch the game. Not not like, oh my God, like Luca had 30 points and 11 assists. Right. No, I don't watch the game like that. So I look at the advantages that you create. So... Yeah. Where where I was excited yeah, were, was the were, fact that they played were. like crap on offense, and they still won the first yeah. quarter. You look yeah. at that first quarter; they went twenty eight to twenty seven. You play like shit, and you still won the quarter. And I'm just like I, that excited me. You know what I'm saying? You're terrible on offense, but you play good enough defense, and you still win the quarter. You know that's that's what I want to see. And they need better chemistry with Trace. They do a terrible job at throwing lobs to him, throwing basic passes to him when he's wide freaking open. Steph threw a terrible pass to him when he when he was wide open, right? Threw it right over his hands. Wiggins tried to throw it like he's missed him a couple of times over the last couple of games, where you know Trace is wide open and you're just not feeding him correctly. So if just feed the guy correctly, and it'll be fine. Right? So that, that's and then, you, and then also he's not out there. And then also when Trace, uh, he was on an island against Kyrie Irving. There's a there's a cross match, and, and he's got Kyrie Irving behind him. The team has to use some comments. That, hey, when it's Kaminga or Wiggins, and they see a guard like Kyrie on them, you you feed them every time. But you're not gonna feed Trace. Use some common sense. E- even if he's not looking to be aggressive, give him the damn ball. And if you're like Steph or whoever Draymond, you're out there, like yell to him. Hey, go at him. Like, use some common sense, bro. That's an automatic bucket waiting to happen. Why are you not taking advantage of that? And why are you still running some bullshit with Steph Curry trying to get a difficult shot when you have an easy bucket waiting for you right there? 
So these are the little things that they need to, you know what I'm saying, get into the details of give Trace the confidence to do that and yell at him if you need to, right? So uh, just make better use of the guy. And I think it'll be it'll become much easier. Absolutely. I just think the biggest difference between now and December, um, and you could argue it's due to a multitude of factors. You could argue it's because because of, of the, how the game is officiated. You could argue because just guys have had more layoff and they've just gotten into rhythm uh, because they're playing more minutes because they're you know featured more. Whatever you want to argue, the reality is is we we are consistently playing well on both ends. Over the last, you know, 32 games, I think we're 22 and 10. Then we did the first, you know, what are we, 75 games in? So the first 43 games, we we weren't playing that well on both ends. We were kind of inconsistent. Now the last, you know, 32 games, we're playing, we're playing really, really well on both ends. So, yeah, I mean, those first 43 games were tough, but, uh, you know, we were like around 500 or so, give or take. But now we're playing elite level basketball championship contending level basketball um and guys have stepped up too like trace has stepped up in a way that and some of that's just due to opportunity right like steve's just given him more minutes and he started him some of that's due to himself just kind of rising to the occasion as a 24 like 24 year old four-year college player is no joke that's he's played a lot of basketball in his life so he's almost i mean He's, you know, Luca's 25 years old. Trace is only one year younger than Luca is. So, you know, you look at that, you look at Pods, Pods does his thing, whatever, you know, he does a lot of hustle stuff. Moody, same thing, right? Moody's a third year player. He stays ready. I don't know if you guys heard about what CP said the other day, but CP's like, yo, like Moody's one of my favorite teammates of my career. And you got to think about the career Chris Paul has had. Played with yeah. a bunch of all-time greats like Blake Griffin. You know, you talk about, like I got guys like Jamal Crawford and, James Harden and Kevin Durant, Devin Booker, like you can go up and down the list. David West, like in his in his prime, like CP's played with a bunch of talent, a bunch of incredible players, and yeah, like for Moody to be one of his favorite just because of how he how he conducts himself and stays ready, doesn't you know always gets his work in, doesn't you know doesn't kind of complain about you know his role or whatever, just stays ready, and that's just to have a guy like that off the bench is just amazing. Um, yeah, and then yeah, I mean you could just go up and down the roster. Now, obviously, like, the only dude who really hasn't been consistent since, like, October, November is Dario. And he's been out the rotation for that reason, so. Let's not talk about Dario. He's <laughs> right. forgotten at this point. No, yeah, right. I'm just saying, like, that's there's a reason for that, right? So we need yeah. we need a lean defense is essentially the point. 100, 100, 100. Steph still isn't at his best yet. And, let's do but, this, though. Hold on yeah. one second. Let's um, transition. Oh, wait, Rick, Rick, Ricky's Rick, here, by the Rick, way. Rick, Ricky's here. Let's um, give, give Ricky some shine. Where? He's in um uh, in the listeners. I don't know if he's re- requesting. He said he wanted to come okay. up earlier. I don't know. If oh, he you didn't request up. All right. Okay. Ricky, come to playback. So playback TV slash Space Gang, and we're gonna do hour two over there. So see y'all over at playback TV slash Space Gang. Good win.